Hi, this is Dennis. We're having a look at the inverter output check function of this uh, RefCro tool. We previously looked at the communication. This is designed to have a look at the transistor output which would normally be going to the compressor. Now, when you do this test, you're actually replacing this device for the three-phase UVW going into the compressor. When it operates, the unit itself, as you can see now, will be showing a series of six lights flashing. Now the lights will have, in this particular case, we're, we're being treated to a bit of a, a specialty here because it's showing us uh, red, yellow and blue, obviously to simulate the phases. The W, V and U are going into the bottom and uh, the uh, each W, V, U has a uh, switch for each positive and negative DC supply being fed into the transistor. The transistor itself, the isolated gate bipolar transistor, has two gates, positive and a negative gate, to output a combination of positive and negative signals to recreate one AC waveform. And we get our three phases from three such gates. As a result, we have six. Now, in order for this test to work, the uh, lights should be flashing in the same symmetry and sequence as each other, flashing on and off, with one of them uh, not coming on and staying on, or not going off, or if we see them flashing out of sequence with each other. Here, it's a perfectly functional test and we know that it's working okay. Now, this is actually staying on a lot longer than normal because this particular unit has a function to test the transistor. And it does this in a special mode, which allows the output to continue without it shutting down. If you don't have this, typically this test would take less than six seconds because the board is looking for a feedback signal from the compressor. Without the feedback signal, it typically will shut it down, assuming that there's a problem. If you're lucky, the uh, brand of air conditioning unit will have an output test to ignore that temporarily so that you have a little bit more time to have a look at it. And we can see here that we have plenty of time. Now the test won't go on uh, continuously because obviously the transistor generates heat and because the fan's not running in this test, you can see that the fan is uh, staying uh, completely static at the moment. There's not much uh, airflow being passed over the uh, heat sink at the back to cool it down. So the test itself is only timed. The functional way to get it into the test may involve several types of setup methods and it's important that you check with your uh, brand from your manufacturer uh, exactly how that's done. Uh, these things are usually provided in uh, service manuals and in or in training sessions. Now, not every unit will be compatible. It has to be mentioned that you may fit this to a unit which is inverter and it will not do anything for you because regardless of uh, whether it has a... Uh, transmission test or not, some of them just don't work without a signal back to the compressor. So it might be a little bit hit and miss. However, it is very handy and we can see how useful this would be. What it doesn't tell you, and what I should point out, is that it doesn't tell you if the unit is outputting correct voltages. Now we know that they're switching in correct symmetry and order and we don't see an obvious problem, but what it's not actually telling us is if the voltages are even. Most inverters, when they output, are so accurate that if they're within a few volts of being different from each other, typically there's a problem. However, in the majority of cases where the inverter output has proven successful like this, there shouldn't be any issues with it. Now, if you don't have this output as you would expect it and you have problems where you have differences in flashing and you have lights which are staying on or off, that could indicate a problem with a transistor or a board fault. The uh, output from the transistors are very, very tolerant. They can take a lot of current, but what they cannot take are short circuits. So any earth fusions, earth leaks, or sudden short circuits through them will destroy them. And we've seen this before in many other cases with units. Usually, typically, after something's gone wrong on the board or something has caused a collapse within the board itself. Although I will tell you from my experience with inverter units, even though we tend to fear the technology, it's very strong and it lasts and it's very durable and typically very little goes wrong with these. Well, I hope you've uh, had a, a good look at this and uh, you've got something out of it. Um, I would certainly recommend though that you should never do any live testing unless it's absolutely necessary and like this one here, it's done in a controlled environment with full protection. Always make sure that you have proper risk assessments done on site and good job safety analysis there so that you can uh, limit any chance of risk to yourself or others and approach it in a safe manner. This sort of test is also difficult because uh, the wiring is put into the uh, inverter module 
um, and it comes out to the compressor and it needs to be put somewhere safe. Now the advantage here is that we've got the box which is mounted to the unit and uh, the holes in the uh, testing tool allow it to be mounted safely. Where it cannot be done safely or where things uh, are not safe to do so, I certainly would not advise this. There are also alternate tests which can be done on the board without power which are resistance based. Check your manufacturer and or service manual for that information. Thank you.